Hi everyone, welcome to veritéouconséquences.com, a website dedicated to spreading crucial information about natural law, freedom, truth, and objective morality. Today, uh, my guest is Francesco Sani. Um, his website is www.monarchiainteriore.com. Uh, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. I, he is what I describe as the gatekeeper of natural law in Italia. I'll <laughs> give uh, more detail. Uh, Francesco, how are you? Uh, hey, uh, hey uh, I'm yeah, I'm doing quite fine, uh, all things considered. Uh, and uh, I want to really thank you for uh, having organized this uh, this conversation. Uh, I think it's going to be, you know, quite interesting and quite useful for, for people who are approaching, you know, who are approaching this sort of, you know, topics and try and also try to find, uh, some, some solution. So, right. Exactly. It's all about the solution because we can talk for hours about the problems, but if we don't talk about solutions. Of course, it's it's not worth much. Um, there's a lot of people on Facebook, on social media, who expose the truth about what's going on, but very few are talking about solutions. So I just want to uh, thank you also for uh, uh, accepting the invitation. I really appreciate, it. and also want to thank you for all the work you you've done so far uh, to spread the knowledge about natural law and all these principles by translating into Italian um, all these presentations from Mark Passio, um, uh, Larkin Rose, uh, Conscious Resistance Network, and all these great teachers. In, so you bring this information to the Italian people. That's why I tell you you're a gatekeeper, but, and I know I've tried personally to do a few subtitles in French for my work and I know it's a lot, a lot of work uh, yes. to do these subtitles. So thank you very much for all the work and, um, and I appreciate the support and uh, the, the, and also I know that you have also translated a few of my uh, work also. So I really want to thank you for that. Yeah, man, I, I, I re greatly uh, appreciate it and uh... Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to hear that, uh, you know, your, your work is, uh, you know, appreciated uh, you know, somehow because yeah, up until now I haven't really had a great deal of, uh, you know, abuse and, uh, you know, and, and, and success, so to speak. Uh, because, you know, you know how, how the internet works these days, you know, between, you know, censorship and between maybe some gener a general, you know, disinterest, unfortunately. Uh, uh, in uh, in freedom, you know, in real uh, freedom related uh, topics, uh, you know, it's not it's not easy to to convey this information to a to a large amount of people, you know, sadly. Uh, right, right, exactly, because the people on the internet uh, we see they they focus a lot on the effects, you know, uh, what's going on. They know and they they they, they are starting to rebel and we see all these protests uh the, the there's a lot of people uh, conveying information about vaccine mandatory uh microchips uh the covid also has been a lot of covered a lot but these are only effects um and what the teachers of natural law like us they focus on is not just the effects yes the the effects are important and people must be aware and awake to these effects. But the solution lies in being aware and conscious about the natural law principles. Um, like my Pressio said uh, the other day at the Philadelphia Freedom Rally, yes. um, I, he made a very great speech about it. And he said that, you know, uh, lockdown and mask mandates aren't the actual problem. They are symptoms of the problem. The belief in authority of the government is the real virus, the real problem. And that's where the teachers of natural law like us, they target our teachings to uh, make people aware that 
of their rights, their natural law rights that have been given to them by the creator and all so that they can see really and be fully aware of, you know, the government laws, which are completely immoral. And by knowing exactly what are their true rights and which is the only law that should apply to them, which is natural law, God's law, um, the law of the creator, the golden rule, all these are a synonym of natural law. And we must teach people, even though we, I know you, you, you said we don't have much success now because the people, they, they focus really on the effects and they don't even, they are not really even ready to go to the underlying causes of their problem because they are still, you know, uh, drawn into the, 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 yeah. the, their attention are drawn into the problems. The government saying, hey, look here, look here, there's a problem. While in the back, you know, they are stabbing them spiritually and they are make sh making sure that they stay uh, at a very low level of awareness and vibration so that they, do they remain enslaved. But enough talking. Um, Francesco, I, I think you've learned a lot from Mark Passio's teaching and you have been translating a lot of his presentations uh, as we said. Um, uh, thank you for that. And can you give us a little more info on your own enlightenment process and your background as natural law teachers, uh, teacher in your country? Uh, yes, uh, well, yeah, first of all, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm a, a, an actual uh, teacher, uh, maybe more of a, you know, try to be more, maybe for now I'm more of a co conveyor of uh, sort of, you know, conveyor of, of information, you know, I, as you said, I, you know, translate um, uh, lots of material from, from other people, you know, especially Mark Passio. And uh, uh, so, but anyway, yeah, uh, my own, uh, uh, as far as my own uh, enlightenment uh, process went, uh, it sort of started uh, like, like many people, you know, like many people have, like, you know, I'm seeing that things uh, weren't really uh, right from, uh, from an early age, because even, even when I was a, you know, a small kid, I was into, you know, I liked, you know, this sci-fi dystopian uh, movies and, and, and stories, uh, etc. So, and I kind of, and I, you know, made the, the association with, uh, with what was, with what was happening in reality and what was, and, and the things I, <laughs> you see in these sort of novels or, or movies, uh, you know, uh, like the matrix, uh, for example, I don't know if you're, you're talking about this one, but me may, or maybe other, but, uh, the matrix no, uh, is yeah. a good example also yes. on, you know, the, also, the fake yeah. reality that's put yeah. beyond, exactly. in front yeah, that, of that us. Came yeah, that came a little bit later, but anyway, just uh, you know, the usual, uh, just uh, just even even sort even some you know novels or uh, or some or, or even some B movies, even <laughs> you know, but they had that element of of of, of truth about what was happening in in the society I, I was living in, and I was already making this kind of these connections, and I was like, mm, here something's not. It's not really right, and then you know you're at school and you you see other things. You now the the they try to you see that they're trying to make uh, make you accept things that aren't really right, and you can perceive that. Uh, for example, one thing that I think we'll we'll uh, you know we'll talk about also uh, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, later on the uh, this episode. It's like the the self defense thing that. You know, you you're at school and you've been, you know, people bother you and you and uh, you, you know you react and you already see that you know the teachers you know punish you <laughs> because, <laughs> instead of the the people who who are actually you know doing you you know some form of of, of harm. So I was already thinking, hmm, no, this, this is not right. No, this is all wrong. It's you know that's really something. You know things aren't really the way they're supposed to be, uh, and then uh, and also for example, I remember when there was the uh, war in uh, in uh, in Serbia, in we were bombing you know uh, Serbia because there was the 
the NATO intervention in, in Kosovo uh, those years, and I was already, you know, I was a kid in elementary school and I was already, <laughs> and something didn't really uh, sit well with me. I was like, um, why, why do we have to, to bomb all the civilians if we, if we are against the, if we are against their government? Why don't we, why don't we bomb their, <laughs> why don't we kill their government representatives instead of everyone, <laughs> everyone else? Uh, so I was already, there was already something, you know, going on in my mind. I was you already aware. something of... was wrong with the system. Yeah, exactly. And also then, also 9-11 happened. And, and again, I, I was like, look, look, this is, you know, this is like Pearl Harbor. This is... And I didn't have the internet. I didn't know, you know, I didn't have the internet for a long time, uh, which I think, you know, it sort of kicked me a little bit, uh, didn't make me realize uh, things that I could have been aware much, you know, much earlier uh, in my life, actually. But, you know, but, you know, uh, you know, studying history, you know, you see that like, oh, this is, this sounds really like Pearl Harbor. This is like something that, you know, they allow to happen. That's what I thought at the time, uh, you know, to go to war in, in Afghanistan, etc. So I was already, you know, <laughs> I remember I was deb debating this with uh, with my teachers in uh, like junior high, I think. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> That's right. and then unfortunately, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, just wanted to say then, unfortunately, uh, I have to, I, I have to admit, you know, due to, uh, I, I gave in to, conf to no, conform, uh, conformism uh, <laughs> because again you know not having you know not having the ability to deep to dig deeper into these sort of topics you know you see all the people around you that think uh, that have another completely other uh, a different way of thinking than what you have so maybe I, w I started to think that maybe something was wrong with me so you know it'd be you know, to conform to, to the others, you know, to being able to have, you know, normal interactions with, with other people, I, I gave in to, uh, not completely, but I had to gave in in uh, pretty much a, a large part to, to the mainstream version of, of, of events and to, and to mainstream society, so to speak. To so, in, I right? went to, so I went to sleep. I went to sleep for a, for a while. Again, not completely because there's always that little voice, but, but I sort of kept it uh, uh, a little bit, uh, kept it away, away from, uh, as away from me as much as possible. Uh, yeah, that's so, right. We, we, we all, we all, you know, we all have been there. We all are, we are all born into this indoctrination system. And, and basically, but we, we, the goal, the goal also of, uh, uh, natural law teachers, and I know you don't like the teacher, but still for me, a teacher is someone who knows something that someone else doesn't know yeah. and bring him, them the information. That's, that's not, I'm not, it's not, uh, um, you know, I'm better than you or, uh, I, you know, I'm teaching the way. Uh, we we yeah, used to know, but it's just a conveyor of truth. Uh, so, and yeah, basically all, all these people I know at one point in their life, you know, early or later, they, they were in the system. They were indoctrinated by these movies, by, by the, the school system, by all this, by their parents. And, but at one point, you know, they, exactly like you you said, you know, they felt that something was wrong, and then they were drawn into these uh, information and all these researcher. And one day they stumble on Mark Passio's work, and then it kind of opens up the whole um, reality for them in front of their eyes, so that they, they can see more clearly. And then they dig deeper into these other researchers. And then uh, they, they find out about natural law and how everyone is right from the very, uh, is wrong from the very beginning, you know, from the very basic. And that's where the deprogramming start, you know, and our job is not to change anyone. I'm not trying to change anyone. I'm just trying to uh, plant a seed in their mind saying maybe something is wrong. I have to go deep, dig deeper. And not just look at the vaccine, not just look at uh, the, the, the COVID crisis, 
but look deeper. Maybe there's uh, something deeper into the human consciousness, the human spirit that, that uh, regulate or that causes all this chaos that we see in the world. And the answer is natural law or ignorance of natural law by mm -hmm. most people. Yes. And that's where we uh, came, come into play by bringing this information. I know it's not very popular because, again, but, but still our, our work, which is the great work, that's why it's called a great work. It's tough. It's not like easy. Like, exactly. uh, it's not yeah. like a Drake video who, who post and uh, the day later there's uh, 25 million views. Exactly. Uh, you know, <laughs> but this is, you know, crap. What we're, t what we're telling them is the truth and we get maybe a hundred views in 24 hours. So, but that, that tells us also where the, 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 the society is at currently uh, consciousness wise. Um, so maybe we're yeah, going to, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, ju just, to, just to finish up a little bit real quick, uh, uh, the, the actual, uh, I think the actual, you know, awakening came back, you know, I had, you know, some experiences, I, you know, I, I ended up even in the military, uh, briefly, uh, for one year and, you know, to, you know, long story short, you know, uh, that, that experience was use was useful, was one of those useful experience you have to, you know, you start to see things, how, how they actually are, how things really work, especially in the, in, in, the, in the state institutions, you know, but anyway, you know, um, you know, I think come 2016 or so, that's what, that's when I started really, you know, getting a bit deeper into the, into the information, started finding out, you know, uh, the work of James Corbett and, uh, you know, Max Egan and, you know, and then, yeah, uh, after a while, uh, I um, came across Mark Passio and again, at the beginning, I didn't, you know, didn't really pay too much attention. I thought he was like a crazy preacher. <laughs> uh, just, you know, shouting and things like that, because I, I think I heard sort of just one clip. Maybe he was like, he was saying something in his, uh, in his powerful way. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know, that may be some crazy American preacher or, or whatever, you know, but then I actually started digging deeper into that and, you know, a whole as you said, uh, a whole new uh, comprehension of things uh, came up. And so, yeah, long story short, here, here I am uh, trying to do my part in, in uh, spreading, the, in spreading uh, the information about natural law, the, the, only, real, the only real solution. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And, and yeah, that's one of the things also Mark Passo always say is, you know, people, they prefer to be told, being told uh, a, a lie with a nice soft tone by the news anchor in the, in the media than someone really yelling them the truth and saying, you got to fucking wake up and you got to fucking look at this information and you got to listen to me because there's no more time to lose and we're heading for a very serious situation. And you know the pe pe people, they, they are, it's a normal reaction that the, the yes. people they kind of reject uh, this information and also truth, because truth is belligerent. Truth is hard to swallow. And and as, as I was saying before we we go on uh, uh, and record this, you know I, I'm very sad today because you know when you you look at all everything that's going on and. I have a three-year-old daughter, you know, I don't want her to live in that kind of society. And that's why, that's one of the motivation also that, you know, uh, gives me um, strength and willpower to, you know, want to be out there. And, and it's going to be also my, my sort of my, my heritage for her, you know, uh, um, I, I want her to, you know, listen to my videos and say, oh, daddy, was aware of what's going on and he did something, you know, even though it's, it's, he's not like, he doesn't get like million views actually, he took his time to be out there and teach people and, and, and tell them, go look at these videos, check these videos, uh, dig deeper, just don't look at the COVID, 
the COVID thing yes. and look behind what's going on, you know, because it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to stab you soon while you're looking at the COVID and vaccine thing, you know? Um, so, um, um, yeah, Italia, I've had uh, the worst, I think, COVID statistic last spring when the socially engineered perceived crisis was at its peak. These statistics have made the news worldwide and have contributed to uh, generating fear on a wide scale at the very beginning of this crisis. The terrible health system in your country has been suspected and as the main cause for the high number of death related to COVID. Um, how would you qualify the situation now in Italia and in Europe in general with the mandatory vaccine, vaccine and digital identity coming up? Uh, yeah, so uh, yes, in Italy we, we've had the, we sort of were maybe the experimental nation uh, for, the, for the, as far as the Western uh, countries goes go for the uh, implementation of all the police state uh, measures that were taken. And I think, uh, yeah, one reason uh, why, we, why they chose us, uh, maybe, uh, and especially the region of uh, Lombardia or Lo Lombardy, maybe in, in English, uh, because it all started it, all, it is said to have all started from there and it's interesting because uh, it, it, it has always been the, the region with the, I mean, especially in recent years, it has been the region with the higher mortality rate uh, in Italy. And uh, I've translated the, uh, uh, a clip, well, a, a long clip, uh, 30 minutes, uh, a 30 minutes part of a high wire episode with uh, Del Big Tree, where he, he was actually explaining the going through all the statistics regarding Italy and the and the various and the other various uh, European countries. And he actually, and at a certain point, he, he actually read he reads um, an article. Uh, that if you if you didn't know the the date in in which it was in which it was written uh, you you would actually think that it was written now in in uh, in 2020 in spring of 2020 because it was talking uh, about a, a health crisis in uh, in lombard in the region of lombardy uh, and instead it was written in 2018 or, or 20 yeah 2018 i think so you know i mean you 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 do two plus two in your mind and and you can understand then why they chose that particular place to you know and there were there was a lot of propaganda also they say well uh, the um, army trucks were coming out of the hospitals carrying away uh, lots of dead bodies from from you know the the covid from the new uh, covid virus when actually yeah you can see how they can easily you know manipulate manipulate the stuff because you know Lombardy is the was the region with the the most amount of deaths uh, and of illness in in Italy uh, since at least 20, 2017 slash 2018 so I mean no wonder they there were a lot of lots of people dying in, in the hospitals they already were uh, undergoing a health a health crisis uh, in, nothing in new under the sun right it was just, exactly it was just it, meant to happen there actually exactly it's, it's not, yeah and I'm not, yeah, and I'm not saying that there wasn't, uh, you know, that you know that there wasn't a, a, a virus, a, a new virus, because there is evidence, you know, to 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 suggest to suggest that by this point that came out of a of the, this of a lab in in, in Wuhan uh, or in in or in you know, some similar place. So I'm not saying that there wasn't. However, uh, the evidence also suggests that uh, that is that it is actually. Uh, that is, it is, it is not this de deadly plague that the media is is trying to, you know, to portray it as. So they already exploited, you know, made they already took advantage of of a health situation that was already bad, <laughs> right? And and so they they use that to instill fear in the population, and that's how the, you know, and and then uh, the you know. And then that's how the, the whole thing went down, you know, lockdown, uh, you know, the, it started with the, with the North, uh, the first red, red zones that they declared, and then they extended it through, throughout all the national territory and, you know, to, 
One thing also so is that, that, yeah, I'm sorry. I, so we can no, make, no, please, I can also ahead. make parallel with, you know, what's happening yeah. also in Canada and here where I live in the province of Quebec, because we are also kind of are the experimental uh, place where in the, uh, in America, where everything is, uh, is experimented, I, I would say. Um, but also yeah. in, in Italia, the same thing happened where they, they kind of really increased the number by putting all the deaths that were going on into the COVID deaths. deaths. But actually they were cancer, uh, you know, uh, cardiac. Yeah, the flu itself. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there was a lot, as you said, there was a lot of debt going on already, but now they took these debts plus the debt uh, related to COVID and then makes one big number and then they put they, they throw it in the news everywhere around the world oh my god it in italia it's terrible now and and see it's gonna come to your country and exactly what happened in quebec i heard recently in quebec for example we're nine million maybe 8.5 million people and the official statistic of debt real debt of COVID is 200 people, 300 maybe, out of 9 million people. So that means that the other maybe thousand deaths were comorbidities, means that you know they were already yeah. on their deathbed or they were really weak or, uh, you know, they, and they were uh, old people, you know, uh, already dying. Yes. And, and these people would have caught anyway the, the, the flu and they would probably die from the flu and nobody would care but now that, that they have generated this this fear and uh through the media then all the people are saying oh it's covid it's covid but it's 200 deaths so all this all these measures uh lockdowns and everything in quebec for example they they have announced recently that uh we won't be able to have any gathering for christmas so and yesterday they have used the public emergency line to send a message to all the quebecers the, this public emergency line usually is used for emergency like tornadoes earthquakes uh you know and everyone gets a message on their cell phone and you know what the message was reading on on our cell phone you don't uh, it is strictly forbidden to get to have gatherings uh, for Christmas. The public, the police forces will be in the streets and distribute a uh, fine, which could go up to six thousand dollars. You know what that that yeah, was? Crazy. That was internal terrorism because it's not an emergency, and they use that maybe sometime for kidnapping for you know yeah. all these to to reach the whole population so oh there's an emergency there but they use that emergency line to scare people that they will be fine if they they meet for christmas if they have a little bit of love between their family and they meet so here in quebec the situation is very also terrible and that's why i can relate to what's happening in italia because we're also the experimental place where the, 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 we have a government which is really on the global agenda, full, yep. full on, yep. full on on the global agenda. They don't care a fuck, don't give a fuck about the people at all. And they are implementing their measure. They are killing the economy. They are killing the human spirit, the human feeling by, you know, all these measures. So, and they are, increasing the debt of the people they are indebting the country to make sure that at the end of the day you know the imf or the the, the, the you know all these international uh uh under the un uh institutions will take control of the country because we're gonna have so much debt to them that we're just gonna be slave to these countries and the the you know the prime minister of our country same thing in italia and canada they won't be entitled anymore to to rule because they will be unfit to rule because the debt will be so high 
that they will have to release or give the power of the country to di this central entity, which will control us with digital ID, with one yeah. world digital currency also, where you'll, all your money will go to a, uh, a this, will be converted into this digital currency centralized and I'm sh pretty sure that Bitcoin will, will also be converted at some point. They will, they will find a way to get their hands on their, their And this one world digital currency, what's gonna do is that if you want, you're, you're gonna have to tell what we're, you, you know, if you do something wrong on, on Facebook, we just cancel your bank account. It's, it's over, it's frozen. Or if you transact with someone, we don't want one central government, your bank account is, is over without any further notice like they do presently on Facebook. It's just to prepare the people. The censorship yes. on Facebook is just to prepare the people or what's going to happen if they don't follow the line it, with their bank accounts. And it's coming very, very soon that, that one world government and people are hitting. So of course our work is very, very important. Yeah, it's going to be in their intention is going to be like China on, on steroids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's yeah. going to be, they, yeah. Because they, they see, we you know with all that's going on and also with Trump, who's kind of sort of a little bit fighting what they're trying to do uh, a little bit. I, I'm very cautious about it. I'm not saying yeah. Trump is fighting <laughs> the, deep, the deep state. He's part of it too, but he's, he's sort of playing a game where he tries to to um, to also uh, sabotage their plan a little, a little. We're not gonna maybe uh, go there, but anyway. Um, next question. I um, um, I did an interview with Mark Passio and uh, recently, and he said people who are anti-gun are traitor traitors to their country and to humanity in general. I saw that you made a translation in Italian of that portion of the interview because I think you deeply understand the importance of the principle of self-defense and how this principle is under attack currently by the social engineers who aim at removing all guns from the population to have them only in the hands of the police and military, which we both know is a recipe for total enslavement and more tyranny. There are more than 1.4 million gun owners in Italia. Can you give us your views on the situation about gun control and gun rights in Italia and in Europe in general? Uh, well, uh, yeah, sure. And, uh, you know, uh, as in Canada, we are a very gun controlled uh, nation and Europe, all the other European countries as well. Uh, Italy that doesn't even have the, uh, the like the most restrictive laws, <laughs> you know. There, uh, there's worse, there's worse, there's worse places. But uh, yeah, uh, generally speaking, uh, you know, it's very gun ownership over here. It's very restricted, and you know, there's a very, you know, there's a lot of limitations, like on how many. How many guns you can have and how many bullets you can you can uh, you can possess because uh, they actually have the uh, sort of anti stock up laws so you know uh, so you can you know start stocking up on ammo that's not you know that's not allowed so and and yes that's really you know and as far as even the, the other as far as gun owners in general I think most of them are sort of in the on the side of you know sort of you know uh, you know law enforcement supporters or military supporters so yeah they they need uh, you know many of them need to wake up too and and as far as ma mainstream co culture goes it's it's pretty much anti you know anti gun uh, yes, basically people, sort of. because people they don't know the their the under... principle of self defense they think yeah, that's that the very... police and military are there for yes. their defense when it's totally the opposite. So they buy the mainstream narrative that, you know, the police is there to save you, to protect you, to serve and protect, right? 
but yeah <laughs> but you know when you become more aware and conscious you realize that these people are the worst people on earth because they or simply follow orders and they carry on uh wrong behavior and bad behavior and you know like uh, they use the violence against uh pacifist uh protesters or uh anything you know they they they, they steal they they kill uh, they have a license for that so uh, and all they do is carry violence uh for the government they don't serve and they don't protect the people so uh, yeah and it's the same thing in the u.s where we see someone with a, a tin, tin blue line flag yeah. and a gadsden yeah. flag which is you know don't tread on me so, so, but yeah. but you know but i, I support yeah. the police <laughs> and i don't want so it's it be, because the people they are confused they are confused with all and all the the mainstream media all the movie the hollywood movies they are aimed at creating this confusion in the mind of the people so that they rely on the government they rely on the media to tell them what to do because they they are, they are so confused within themselves and that's why i really like also the title of uh, or the name of your website uh, monarchia interiore because yes, monarchia means, interiore yes yeah monarchia interiore it yes. means internal monarchy which is yep. one ruler within and and that's where exactly where it come from right because uh confusion comes from there's multiple p ruler within you don't are, you are not the, the only one ruling yourself there's a lot of other people the media your your parents the government is ruling your decisions so it's internal anarchy means anarchy means no ruler within so you don't rule yourself if you're not able to rule yourself then other will rule you but interiore or monarchia interiore means in one ruler within yourself so you rule yourself so i really really like the name of your website very well chosen and it's very it's a very important concept also to push on the people that you must be the only one ruling your decision and uh you must be the monarch you know you must be the, the the only place where there must be a king is within yourself outside exactly. monarchia external monarchia is is actually it's actually slavery internal yes. yeah. monarchia is freedom of choice sovereignty so uh, i i really want to uh, uh congratulate you on this a uh, choice for your name of the white side and i invite everyone to go uh, especially the one people in italia but uh, everyone should go check your website you're doing a good job to uh, and relating the the great work there yeah uh, thank you very much and uh, yes uh, to yeah to me uh, it this is it is really the as you said the most important thing so that's why i i chose the that you know that name for my website because you know people really have to get a <laughs> get a grip on the fact that um, you know they equate anarchy they equate it immediately with the uh, with ex with external chaos and you know may mayhem destruction whatever uh, un unruliness and you know law lawlessness you know absence of rules uh, and you know that's actually violence yes exactly that that's not really what uh what it is what it's all about uh that's not uh you know that's not precise uh not at all actually what you wanna it's yeah what you wanna opposite. yeah exactly yeah uh, we have to make the distinction between inter within uh, the internal conditions and the and external conditions and the internal conditions will manifest uh certain external conditions so you know there is a there is basically a very well made uh uh how do you call it uh, chart. sort of a, a chart yeah a chart yeah a chart made by by mark that i that i translated and i know you have two in uh, in in french in uh, i saw it in some of your videos uh, yes. with the yeah the, the uh, 
you know there are some in internal uh, conditions which which manifests uh, certain external conditions and when you have internal anarchy that does as you said that doesn't mean nobody you know you are you are leaderless uh, inside yourself and that can only lead to and that can only lead to actually you know chaos and uh, and slavery in the end uh, you know ultimately you know that's uh, why my, my we, video uh, my video was entitled uh, you know fear is the public enemy number one because yeah. fear in inside leads to this condition of uh, you know internal anarchy which lead uh, ultimately to outside manifestation of chaos but it all start with fear ignorance of natural law and confusion all these mental states they create what we what we manifest or what we are current collective reality yeah yeah exactly and uh, yeah uh, you know on, uh, on the contrary if you have you know if you, uh, if you start from a place from a place of love actually you know which uh, you know which is not the you know the romantic version of of what we perceive uh, as love the sort of the you know hollywood version so to speak you know <laughs> But actually, you know, love for for what is just and what is true, and 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 self and you know, love and, and self respect also. You know, then that will lead to to internal monarchy. So then you will you, you will know the difference between right and wrong, and wrong, and you will be able to. You know, you you, you will apply those in your life. You'll have knowledge of, of moral law, of natural law. You'll apply that in your life, so you will be in control of yourself. You will be the the king of your you know of your own internal realm so that's right and that translates to to a state of freedom external anarchy that means there is no leader uh controlling you and deciding what you can and what you can do where you can go who you can see who you can meet you know <laughs> if you can you know go out of your get out of your house or if you can conduct business and and in the end that leads to to freedom so that's right that's right and love also in my presentation uh, i'm gonna put a link below also uh, i've made english subtitles and you know i associate love also and many other teacher of natural law associate love with courage um, because actually love is is have a deep love for yourself and all humanity in general because the problem is that people currently yeah, they love themselves or they think they love themselves, but they don't love humanity in general. All they care about is their own little world and their family is okay. And, uh, you know, as long as they have a roof and they have uh, four, three meals on the table, they don't care what hap what's happening in the world. But the problem is that if you don't care about what's happening in the world, it means that you don't have true love. You only love 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 for only yourself is not true love that's fear and if you have only love for yourself um and then or your own comfort then what's gonna happen is that all the chaos that happening is gonna come maybe one day knock at your door you know and they're gonna say oh you lost your job because of you know all the the, the the dictatorship that's going on and all the the crisis of the economic crisis you lost your job so we're gonna I'm gonna take back your home oh oh and we're, we're gonna take your family to get them vaccinated so it's gonna happen they're gonna knock at your door at one point because of your ignorance and because of your laziness because you didn't take you didn't do anything because it's not happening to you right now it's not, yes. it's not near you, you know, it's, oh, in our end, you know, they're going to have a war in our end. They're going to have a war back then, back there. And it doesn't matter. I'm here. I'm safe as long as I'm safe. So that's really being selfish and that's being hateful. That's being fearful of the consequences. So of course it takes courage and take love uh, to love yourself and courage to see oh i want to dig deeper i really want to find out about the truth because finding about the truth as i said in the beginning today i'm very sad because i see what's going on 
you know, I don't, I don't look at the matrix before my eyes. I can see way beyond, beyond that. You know, that's what awareness and consciousness really is. It's not really just seeing the 3D effects and the vaccines, but the whole big picture of the, the global consciousness of the people and how it affects them. You know, so it, it, that's why it's really important. Our message is very important. And yes, you, we got to talk about the effects. Of course, it's very important to talk about the lockdowns, the vaccines and everything so that the people, they wake up. But the next step or on parallel, you got to also wake them up on the, on the underlying causes of their enslavement and actually to wake them up that they are enslaved because a lot of people they don't know the other day i was talking to my father and he was saying to me why are you doing all these video about slavery and telling slavery we don't live in africa we're we live in america there's no slavery in america so how come do you 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 say you're always saying oh slavery here slavery there so you see these people they are not even aware that they are slaves that they pay taxes so how can you know how can just looking at the effects won't won't do it won't do it you have to go deeper than that and teach them deeper uh laws and which are actually the only laws god's law you know yeah yeah exactly uh morality you know people don't really yeah. have a, objective. A, good, a good yeah a good comprehension of objective morality uh and that's really <laughs> You know, that, that's really one of, probably, you know, one of the most difficult things to, you know, to talk to people because there's a lot of, also a lot of moral relativism. That's really, uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, that, yeah. yeah, that's, uh, you know, that, that's very prevalent, that's very prevalent, uh, also yeah. lot, lots of solipsism, lots of, um, nihilism also also so nothing really you know nothing really matters you know so why why bother even if i even if you don't agree with with what's going on why bother because you know nothing really has a, has any importance and and morality oh that's that just that's relative that doesn't really exist the truth uh, no how many people think that the truth doesn't exist mm. so uh, that's just crazy and, and so yeah as you said at the beginning it's not called the great work for for no reason uh unfortunately the the state the world is in is very is very sad that's no, no use in in denying it uh when people don't know what actually what a right is something as simple as that you know we are in a in a bad in a bad situation uh, very bad very bad. Well, so, they don't know where their rights come from. Actually, they don't know that. Yes, you know, possibly. God created the rights at the creation billions of years ago. They are <laughs> still the same. They will always be the same. They are the same for everyone. No one has the right to delegate their rights to uh, government. No one has more rights than anyone else. And the government are totally an illegitimate and immoral institution from its very own existence, just the existence of the government itself is immoral and illegitimate per natural law, the law of nature. God, yes. if we would have, if I could interview God, like the, you know, the bearded guy on his cloud, <laughs> yes. you know, I, and I would ask him, what do you think of the government? He would say that that, you would say it's completely immoral. It's not what I wanted for human beings. It's, it's human beings, they don't need the government, but they have been educated. They have been indoctrinated into belief, believing that's what they need to regulate themselves and to make laws because, you know, they, they are not taught about natural law. Because if you know natural law, you know that you don't need government laws because these laws, they are there, they are immutable. And you know, the, the, the law is basically don't do into others what you don't want others to do to you and don't do initiate any harm to another sentient being. All the other actions, you can do it. As long as it doesn't initiate harm to any other sentient being. 
which is the sacred feminine principle of non-aggression, and the other God's law, which is the sacred masculine principle of self-defense, is take no shit. Means, you know, you got to defend yourself with the necessary force, not violence, necessary force to stop permanently the aggression, including if your life is threatened, deadly force. But you don't necessarily yes. have to resort to that. You can use only the necessary force, like to control such individual who is threatening your property, which is also your body, your 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 immediate family, or any human being for that matter. Uh, so that's the sacred principles under natural law that people ignore. They are not taught. In school, as you said, you know, you grew up in school with, you know, the teachers um, punishing both person, both the initiator of the attack and both the one who was acting in self-defense, which is completely wrong, completely immoral to do so. And they are not sending the right message and, you know, ripple effects, it grows, it grows and people, they grow up as adults thinking that it's wrong to defend themselves. It's wrong to own a gun, to defend yourself when the time comes. But because they think that everyone who owns a gun can, you know, go out there and initiate arm. Yeah. But it, but it's, it's partly true. But if you know natural law and you live in alignment with natural law, you will never, ever, ever initiate arm to another sentient being with your gun. But if, you know, you feel threatened and there's a real threat, then you'll be entitled to use that gun against such individual who's threatening your property or your rights. Yes. Yeah. And also, That's if, it. If, yeah, if people That's have to it. realize that if guns were actually very diffuse, very, um, you know, yeah. there was yeah. a widespread, uh, widespread, uh, you know, gun gun, gun, number of guns. You know, gun, gun owners, uh, etc. If uh, um, if the, the guns were, you know, very spread among the population, uh, they'll have actually a less less chance that you know people will you know take advantage of of another person or and use violence uh, against against other people. Actually, there will be a less chance of that because you know more people will be capable of defending themselves and put the and put the aggression the aggressor down if necessary. But so, again, people yeah, that, will that's... Are... yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, I think that's one of the most difficult things to the, the self defense principle is one of the most difficult things that I have to explain uh, even even in person, uh, even in real life. <laughs> you know, uh, and right, another one is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, and, and, and another one apart from that is uh, uh, the principle of cause and effect. It's consequentialism, uh, and you have uh, that's why I, I like your <laughs> the title of your website too because it's truth or consequence. And 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 believe it or not, I don't know if it's the same for you, but when I have discussions, one it's very hard. Uh, people don't get it. You know, they don't get consequence, which is also a, a law of physics. <laughs> so, that's right. But it they, happens they, in they the will, physical world. Yeah, but they will get, okay, yeah, that's the, you know, uh, every, for every action corresponds. And they, because they learn by heart in school and, and they, so they know that. But they don't make the co necessary correlation to the, you know, to what we are talking about, to, to, to natural law, which, uh, you know, consists also in the, the you know, when, when you have an aggregate, in the aggregate uh, consequences, in the consequences of the aggregate behavior uh, of the of the behavior of a species uh, as a whole, so that's why we have the, the world that we are living in because uh, it comes as a consequence on our false, you know, on our um, false beliefs and our misplaced uh, belief in, in in authority. That's right. And that's very. You know, and and people don't really get it. And also, when when you talk about you know order followers that they. You know they, you know you, it's immoral to um, to obey <laughs> to obey orders, to, uh, uh, and the, and you know and you're gonna have and also to comply and also it's you know it's you know if you comply to certain laws you know some things will happen to you like the store owners 
that comply with the <laughs> with the law uh, all over here, but also all over the world. And now they're closing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, but um, as far as nature goes, as far as the universe goes, uh, it doesn't matter what was your uh, what your reason, what your excuse or your reason was to comply with the, with this unjust and stupid laws. You did it. What matters is what you do. You you did it. You accepted it. You complied with it, and now you're paying the price. And then people go crazy on you. Oh, but you know, you're heartless. You think about the, you know, they have to. They you know, if they don't comply, they're gonna get fined, and they have to. Yeah, but you know, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The reason why you mm, and people you go along did. with. No, sorry. Yeah. We, that, that, that doesn't matter. Uh, the reason why you go along with tyranny, why you obey orders, why you follow the unjust uh, dictates of your uh, uh, of your government, uh, that doesn't really matter. The reason, uh, you know, if you if if we keep on doing it, if we keep on complying with it, we're gonna have the as a consequence, we're gonna have the result we we deserve. Unfortunately, but uh, that's how it works. That's right, and and you know, you, you, Italia suffered so many years from fascism, and it seems yes. that you know they, they they are totally forgot about what it meant, and it's because the, the you know their great parent or grandparents or great grandparents complied with the authorities that it all happened. That's like like David Ike said, and I shared the, this video on my website recently. Um, and I put it also at the end of my interview with Martin because it's so important that it's not, you know, the government that that uh, created fascism at the end of the day. Maybe they have pushed the idea, but at the end of the day, it's the people who are lived in fear, who decided to comply with fascism, who, because there's not too, as many people in the government and there's not enough people in the government to force really people into uh you know taking a gun and 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 go to war you know uh, if millions of people say no uh, i'm 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 I, you know i want to be free i don't want to do it then the government will have no power they don't have enough police to do that but even that the, you know the, the very existence of the police to enforce this and create fear so that people they do you know uh, terrible things they, they commit murders and they they, they they arm other people it's not their their will you know they they have they do that out of fear out of coercion and exactly the same thing hap is happening right now so it, it's terrible to see all these people have suffered so much and their grandparents have suffered so much and still today they, they are still back at square one. We live in fear. We close our business because, you know, we, we, we haven't learned a lesson from the past at all, at all. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately they did a very good job with the, you know, the propaganda, you know, created the very, uh, created this, you know, men mental <laughs> sort of this cognitive dissonance or, or mental schism, I guess I can say uh because you know uh, they say now they say oh but you know that's different that's somehow different because now we have democracy and uh, and this sort of thing there's you know you yeah. you can't say the this is fascism no because you know fascism is over and now we have a leftist government so it's not possible that <laughs> this could happen so mm -hmm. uh people yeah people think you know people ha have it, have it all wrong in their heads unfortunately and uh and yeah, history is repeating itself, but uh, but it's gonna be even worse now with all the the control, with all the the methods of control that they have at their disposals, and um, and unfortunately, I'm seeing I'm seeing I also read I also uh, read some statistics. Uh, I don't know how accurate they are, but but I can relate to them for personal experience, uh, if if anything else, and actually. There's a lot of young people, a hell of a lot of young people, supporting what's going on in in this country, and you know that's that's not a good, you know, that's no. not a good state. Uh, and they want, for example, you know, many 
you know, young people, I don't remember exactly the age range, but uh, anyway, you know, we're talking about young persons. Uh, they want, they would actually want more restrictions and more, uh, and uh, more severe penalties for people who uh, are, you know, breaking the, the rules uh, about the, about quarantine and all this nonsense that they are imposing. But you know what? It's so. because of the, these, these, your grandparents that went to war and that suffered fascism, they should have educate their kids that it's wrong and learn about history and yeah, their see, kids for they, they teach their kids nowadays. But the problem is the, the kids nowadays, they watch on social media yeah. and all they see is the censored information. So all the, the, the their mind, their, their world is based on what they see on social media, the fake I, ideal, uh, uh, narrative that it's pushed on the social media yeah, as not well just, as bad parenting because yes. there is bad parenting going on all around the world and yeah. all the parents should be ashamed of themselves not to have teach the, their kids to be uh, uh, you know um, to to learn about history real history not the history books that they 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 they, they, they rewrite the history in in school but the real history, what really yeah. happened, and then make your own decisions. But they, they, they are completely gone far in their minds. And so that's why the kids these days are, are wrecked and they are all for fascism because they don't know what it is. They don't know what it means. They don't know themselves. They hate themselves because of all the, the media and everything that's been pushed in the, the movies and everything. So very, very terrible generation and terrible parents. Yeah, exactly. And right also I, I, I wanted to say that even the older generations, many who, who, who said that they were against fascism, but they actually were, you know, many of them were actually communists. So that doesn't really, you know, that, that was the, that false dialectic that, okay, yeah, I, I made the resistance against fascism. So I'm a, you know, you know, so I, I, I'm a communist, so, and I teach my, you know, the future generation to vote for, for the left. So we don't have fascism again. We don't have and any so, property. Yay. Government. Yeah. Owns all the property. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's good. Yes. I don't own anything and I'm happy. That's what the uh, yeah. Schwab said. Uh, exactly. Motherfucker. Uh, yeah, and so people think now with the uh, with uh, you know uh, with this with this system of, with this democratic system supposedly uh, things are just fine and and there is an actual need to be uh, to be tough uh, with with uh, with those bad people and you know selfish people that don't care about others and want to spread the the virus. They yeah. believe this is this is legitimate and this is not dictatorial. This is just they believe this is just common sense. So do it's it the for basis. The others. Don't do it for yeah. you. Do it for the others. Do you care about others? Exactly. Exactly. If you care about others, so they, they play on that. It's, and if you it's, don't, you de and if you don't, you deserve to be strangled by some cop yes, uh, because you're selfish. Or, yeah. If you yeah. want your freedom, if you 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 express your freedom, you're selfish. Yeah. And and uh, as Mark said in um, you know in in quite a few of his presentation, when you have the building block, that's. Uh, that's faulty when you have a, a bad a, a, fault, a faulty, a bad, the bad yeah, the bad of information. Exactly. Yeah. The, the building, when, you know, uh, when the building block, uh, when the first, you know, when you don't have, you know, any, any, uh, any first principles and, and a good foundation, you know, when the foundation is bad, everything else is going to be, is going to be bad. Right. And that's the, yeah, again, uh, for the principle of cause and effect, that's the, <laughs> Now we suffered the consequences of that, and uh, absolutely, absolutely. So it's hard to stay positive when you go down the rabbit hole and you are able to see the world beyond the matrix for what it yeah. truly is. Still, despite all the negative that things that happen in currently, I, I really want to finish this interview on a positive note. And you know, you told me that it's gonna be the the, the hardest part of the the interview, the but question. but still, yeah. I, I I still want to go you to go down and 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 tell us a little more about you know uh, you know just what makes you happy and and what gives you hope for the future uh, personally. 
you know, as I said, that's kind of a difficult question because these days uh, actually, uh, you know, now living, I guess, you know, living for, you know, having firsthand experience of, of what's going on just when I leave my house and, and all the things that are happening and that I can see directly, uh, that's really hard to find something that will make you happy <laughs> because it's not a happy situation. And, and I guess the thing is you have to, you know, try to get on with your life and with the, and try to get on with the, you know, with the work of trying to put something out there on the record for future generations. Because maybe one positive thing that you can actually, you can actually know exactly how it's going to play out in the end. Uh, so you, you can't actually say, oh, it's, it's all over 100%. We're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna be, you know, we are finished like, you know, 110%. It's already said and done. There's no, there's no use in doing anything. No, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't agree with that. So it's important to keep that in mind. You know, the actions that you, you know, that what you're doing right now, you know, will determine, will have some, will have some impact on, on what happens in the future, even if you won't be alive to, to see it or, or at least even, or at least if you, if you will not be in this, in this current uh, physical form, <laughs> you know, to be able to see it yourself. Uh, but you, you know, but it's important to, to do what's right for the future, for, you know, for future generations and for the truth and for truth itself. That's right. And that, that's what you do actually, because truth is light and what you're doing by sharing the truth in your country, uh, by working really hard on these subtitles and translations is to shine light in your country, even though, you know, it's a very dim light in compared to all the darkness, still, you know, you're trying and same thing for me, you know, I have, a, as I said, I have a three year old daughter and I don't want to live, live, leave her uh, a world, you know, that, that is like that. So I, I really, I'm really all out, you know, doing all I can to reach a lot of people with this message so that people slowly are getting aware I'm getting aware and conscious you know but I, I understand that it's not gonna happen overnight and probably that there's gonna be a, a lot of you know pain and suffering um, because of their compliance to the the government and the, the, the fact that the government is against them but they don't even know but but still I really want to be out there with this message of of, of love and light because natural law is ultimately is love. And the, these are the information. This is the information you talk about the pool of information and this is the pool of information, even though it takes courage, it's hard at first and to go down the rabbit hole and to find all the darkness in this world. Still, once you go really deep down, you can, you can start to see the light and see that you know uh, natural law is there it's going to be always there these laws are there for you if you comply with them you know um like i said me for, for example when i started this uh on august 24th i started my website because i was tired of mark passio saying you know you my listeners who know things you get out yeah. there and you do yeah. something you go and teach there go and teach other people um, and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm one of these uh, lazy armchair quarterback he's talking about. So I got to do something. And, you know, by seeing that everyone else around me and around the world had no clue about their rights, about freedom and all these beautiful, beautiful enlightening principle that Mark was teaching, I said, I got to be a voice uh, uh, and I got to start teaching in French also to the French community, these uh, great, infra all these great teachers, Larkin Rose, Max Egan, and the community is growing. And, and since then I've, I've, I've reached, you know, people like you and I've um, 
a lot of a group of uh, natural law teachers. There's the One Great Work Network who's coming also, who's going to, you know, uh, be uh, a, a great platform to, to spread the content, spread that information. And th that's where exact, that's where my hope lies, basically, is that there, natural law will always be there, no matter yes. what. And your soul is, you know, infinite. Your soul has infinite power. This physical body is only one experience, a hell of a, a, an experience, but it's still just one physical experience of your soul, which has billions of years uh, and is part of the creator. Part of the creation is just um, one experience that you're having. And you got to learn in this experience. And what you're going to learn is that natural law is there. God is there and you are part of God. And, and you, you are free, but you internally, you know, you are your own internal monarch. And, and you know, you got to get this information, find this information, look for it and do your own research so that you become less and less uh, scared and you find the courage within yourself uh, to live uh, sovereign and to be a, uh, live free and be a sovereign human being. Yeah, yes, uh, agreed, yeah, and uh, yeah, and one, yeah, I, guess, I guess one other thing that, you know, maybe gives me a little bit of, of hope, it's uh, that I hope that the, the One Great Work Network will have you know, we have, we'll uh, achieve, you know, we'll, you know, we'll manage to, to, to spread this, this, this type of info a little bit, uh, a little bit wider. So that's one other thing that I'm looking, that I'm looking forward to. Uh, and yeah, and, you know, just, I will urge, just urge people to, uh, you know, as you said, if you, if you know something, uh, if you know this type of, you know the, the situation is wrong and if you are aware of what's going on you need to you need to speak out uh, as i said with the the hip hop artist joe murray uh, when i interviewed him you know he said you know take take whatever you know form of activism that that you you know take a form of activ of, of activism uh, of your of your choosing uh, you know but do something you know uh, everything's good right yeah, if it's just you know sharing, uh, if you have uh, social media with the, uh, you know with the uh, maybe a uh, um, you know a significant amount of <laughs> of contacts or whatever, you don't you you it's not the moment to be afraid of losing friends on, on social media. So, uh, yep. So at least share share this share this type of information about, about morality, about the illegitimate illegitimacy of, of authority, about the Im immorality of what's going on right now of, of order following and you know and this you know fascio communist uh, hell that they are gonna you know bring us into and 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 do something you know because uh, it's what you know uh, your intention uh, can only get you <laughs> can only be useful if you if you then if you act upon it that's right you no know, that's your ac your actions that will count in the end so that's right thank you very much for this great message and i uh, really appreciate your support i'll i'll be as you mentioned joe murray i'll be uh, on his show uh, yeah, freedom great. for all next yeah. week so it's good uh, he's gonna uh, he's uh, inviting me as guest on his show uh it's great because I, I really like what he's doing and uh, I, I look forward to uh, have a great conversation with him also so uh, thank you very much, uh, Francesco, for your time and uh, for everything that you do towards the great work to spread the message uh, in Italia. Um, I, I invite everyone uh, to look at your website, monarchiainteriore.com, and um, also look at my website, um, veriteuconsequence.com for more uh, information about natural law and uh, don't, uh, don't hesitate to ask us any question. We're there to help. And uh, as uh, Francesco said, anything at this point is, is good. Any dim, any sh light 
is as good and it's important to bring people to know the root causes of their problem, not just look at the effects. Thank you very much, Francisco. Thank you. Merci de m'avoir invité. <laughs> Mon plaisir. Au revoir. Au revoir. What you reap is what you sow!